With master data information, it is possible to lock batch number data or lot number data in the system using our information matrix or entering directly on a lot number. So for instance here, Paul, he's our quality controller guy. So he's uh, the one doing all the measurement after manufacturing has produced item. This could be in industries like pharma, medical devices, food industry, all kinds of foods, uh, even electronic industries where you produce in batches, meaning what, more than one item. So on such a lot number that you produce, uh, Paul might want to measure a lot of stuff and enter it in the system and maybe even have a uh, historical archive data on those data. So let's take an example here. So Paul, who would like to, for instance, uh, on a specific lot number to measure the density, if we need to register that, uh, how many parts per kilo, if it's in the middle cell in the pharma industry, uh, how many parts did we produce per kilo in whatever bulk production of something? Who did approve it? Is it uh, Paul or, or some quality uh, signee, uh, uh, quality person? Uh, what is the bulk production number? What is the quality code? etc etc so all kinds of specific data on a lot number can be measured or can be entered directly in our master data information system and that makes it very agile to find the data again to find specific lot number and to have all the history on all these fields that you can enter again and again and again and save the older data